Well, greetings and salutations, Series 7 test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru. I'm coming to you from my studio in fabulous Las Vegas. The best paid, uh, best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. The best, uh, one of the best paid supplements, if not the best, is a Kaplan Q-Bank. If you don't already have a Kaplan Q-Bank, uh, you can get one with a 10% discount using my Guru 10 discount code at checkout. For that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look at uh, content, Kaplan content. This is an explication request for QID 1264143. Now, there was another explication request, and I'd already done that. So once again, I want to remind you, uh, before you send an explication request, either in the Reddit, the search bar, or on the YouTube channel in the search bar, you can put in, you know, for example, in this uh, one convertible or parity or margin, whatever the case may be. And you can see if I haven't already helped a test taker previously on that same question. Anyways, uh, one of those I had, this one I don't think I have. So here we go. Uh, XYZ Corporation has an outstanding 7% convertible bond trading at 102. The bond, which has a conversion price of 50, was issued with an anti-dilution covenant. If XYZ declares a 10% stock dividend, the new conversion price of as of the X date will be. All right, well, let's see what we're going to need to do here. Almost every time, I can't stress this to you enough, any convertible question, you get the conversion price, you need to establish the conversion ratio. So the minute you see the conversion price, you say, bastards, I need the conversion ratio. The way you do that, that's based on par, is you take par, and you divide by the con conversion price, in this case, 50. And that means the conversion ratio is 20 shares. Now I'm back in business. And the trust indenture as a convertible uh, bondholder, we want to be able or be promised in one of the covenants that we will uh, be able to convert in the same proportion ownership. And so if the company declares XYZ a 10% stock dividend, we would want our conversion terms to be adjusted accordingly so that we can convert in that same uh, proportion. And so the 10% stock dividend means I'm going to want to adjust my conversion terms accordingly. So I had uh, the ability to convert into 20 shares of the stock for each of these bonds. 10 additional means I want to be able to convert into two additional shares. So the new adjusted conversion ratio is going to be 22 shares. You know, the 20 originally plus the two, which represents this idea that I, too, want to be able to convert in 10% uh, more. And uh, now I'm back in business. Because now what I do is I just say, okay, well, par divided by 22 shares is 45.45. And that is the answer to this question. So the 7% had nothing to do with answering this question. The 102 had nothing to do with answering this question. You know, if they wanted no parity, then it, I would have needed to uh, do some more math, right? 102, 1020 divided by... Uh, 22 shares would give me a parity, but that's not what you were asked. Uh, I think very low probability that you're going to have to do something like this. I don't know of any draw in which you're not going to have to calculate parity. You didn't have to do that here, uh, but that's um, uh, the thing that you more, most often are going to have to do. All right. Well, remember, uh, inch by inch, your Series 7 is a cinch, and yard by yard, your Series 7 is hard. And uh, like I said, getting caught up on explication requests. I was teaching this week, so a lot of things piled up. So you can be looking to some uh, more explications coming your way shortly.